Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Bronislava from Handmade Rukodielky and uh, today we are here to knit our third part of a very simple sock, basic sock. As you see I am finished with my um, foot part uh, and I knitted 38 rows for that part, okay? And now what we need to do uh, is start decreasing for a uh, tip, for our tippy toe. So um, now make sure that you do not uh, start decreasing this way, that you know where you're, that you would have it flat like this. It needs to be decreased this way, okay? Okay, we will be decreasing on this side and then this side, not here and here, okay? So make sure that you will start decreasing the proper way. So flatten your, uh, flatten your sock like this so you know that this is the side and this is the side where, we, where you will be uh, decreasing, okay? And I will start showing it to you in um, English style. <coughs> okay, and what I will do first is knit two together. This is my marker that that was my 38th row. So we will knit two together. And now knit all the way across to the other part, but do not knit these last two stitches, okay? So knit Okay, I'm getting tangled in here a little bit Okay, knit two last two stitches on the second needle. So this is my second needle that I am knitting on and these are my last two stitches and what you need to do with these last two stitches on the second needle is that you slip slip and then put it back on this needle this way and knit it okay and now we will repeat uh, what we were doing over here and over here we will repeat it on this side so we will knit two together over here again we will knit across and then we will slip these two stitches slip slip and knit okay so let me demonstrate in my preferred way in continental style and we will knit these two together and now knit across these two needles all the way to the last two stitches on the fourth needle okay so all the way over here to this these two stitches. Knit. I knitted across these two needles, which is needle number three and four, okay, and I'm at my last two stitches and we again will do slip, slip, and then knit these two together. So insert your needle in there, and then knit them together, okay? And now we will knit entire row. We will knit all stitches on all four needles. Let me pull this one over here, this my marker, that's my beginning. And you just knit entire row.
I knitted my entire row around okay and I'm here at the beginning again and from now on we will repeat these two rows again and again until we have five stitches left on this needle on the first then these five stitches then these five stitches and five stitches so we will be de basically decreasing in these corners right here right so now we will do knit two together again knit two together and then knit oops one more time I lost it there okay and now we will knit again all these stitches all these stitches until these last two stitches right here on this side okay so knit all those stitches and I will see you at that corner at the other corner okay I'm coming to my end on this corner and what we will do here again on this side is slip slip and then knit two together them together okay one more time oops I didn't put my needle incorrectly okay all right and I'm going to show it to you again in my continental style that I love so again this is the corner this is the corner this corner is knit two together this corner is slip slip knit them together okay so now we're when we flip this is knit first two together knit across and then slip slip and knit together so here we will knit two together okay and now we will knit across here I am again in my corner and I will slip slip and knit two together okay and now we have to knit entire row so knit entire row from here all around until here okay And then we will repeat these two rows again. So I knit it all around and we will again knit two together in this corner. Knit across these two needles until last two stitches on the second needle these are my last two stitches and I will slip slip and knit two together and now over here I will knit two together knit across these two uh, needles is my third needle and fourth needle so on the fourth needle I will knit all the way to my last two stitches where I will do slip slip and then knit right okay here we are slip slip and knit them together now we will knit entire row okay, I did not pull it through correctly okay I split the yarn so be 
careful not to split the yarn, okay? So knit entire row. I knitted entire row and I'm again in the beginning and again we will do knit two together and then knit to the last two stitches on the second needle here I am again on this side and we will slip slip and knit knit them together and again here is knit two together knit two together knit across to the last two stitches on the second or in this case fourth needle oops and now slip 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 we're slipping knitwise, right? Okay, slip, slip, and knit. And since we did this uh, row that we did decrease, now we need to knit. No decrease in this second row. One row is uh, decrease, one row is no decrease. And I, again, I finished my knit row with, where I did no decreases and we will be decreasing again. So let me see how many more times we have to do it. So we need to leave five stitches in here and we have four more stitches to go. Okay, very good. So we will do this four more times. In other words, eight rows. Um, so we knit two together and knit all across these two. Uh, needles all the way to the last two needles uh, two stitches on a second needle and here we are looks like I split my yarn here can you see it I have to fix it. Okay, slip, slip, knit wise and then knit. Knit them together. And now over here, knit two together and then knit across these two needles, which is needle number three and needle number four. Needle number four, we will not knit last two stitches, but we will do slip slip and knit. Slip knitwise, slip knitwise, and knit two together. And now we will knit entire row, no decreases. Just knit entire row. Look how we're progressing, see? Nice, right? Okay, so here again we will knit two together. So I knitted two together and we will knit until the last two stitches on the second needle okay and again knit twice slip slip and then knit together and knit two together regular way knit across these two needles until last two stitches and here we are slip knit 
twice, slip knit twice, and knit them together. And again, let's knit entire row. Just knit entire row, no decreases. Okay, I'm finished with knitted row and again knit two together and knit until the second uh, uh, second needle and last two stitches last two stitches and slip and slip knit wise and knit them together and now this third needle is knit two together a regular way knit until the last two stitches on the fourth needle together and again we will knit entire row two four six oh we have to do it one more time so knit entire row okay I knitted my entire row and this is our last time that we're doing the decrease so again knit two together regular way knit across until last two stitches on my second needle here we are and we will do slip slip and knit now we will do again, knit two together, knit two together, knit across these two needles to the last two stitches. time we are decreasing slip slip knit together okay and we have now I'm thinking if I should do one more extra probably better so it's not confusing with those uh, decreased so knit one more row and then we will do a kitchener stitch I knitted my uh, entire row and now what you need to do and what I will also do is I will move my stitches on two needles only so um, needle number one and two are going to be moved onto same needle the stitch I meant stitches on those needles okay now I will move stitches from fourth needle onto my third needle okay and we are ready to do kitchener stitch okay I left, I cut off my uh, yarn and I left about one and a half feet to do the kitchener stitch and I 
put it on my needle. Okay? And now I had written down for myself how I usually do the Kitchener stitch. Now the yarn has to be coming out of the back needle. Okay? Back needle. Uh, the last stitch. Okay? Then I set up myself. So first two stitches are gonna be set up. Okay, the first stitch we will do purlwise. That means you will insert needle from this side like that, right? So purlwise, you pull it, keep the yarn underneath those needles, and. Uh, the first stitch on the back needle is going to be done knitwise. Okay? You can go you can go from top like this, but then move this this yarn in between those uh, needles so you do not get it wrapped around the needle. Okay? So that's our setup. Okay? And now we will start working first on a first needle in front of you front needle insert to this one knitwise and then slip and then purlwise okay and on the back needle it's going to be opposite purlwise slip and knitwise okay so so this needle this actually this stitch is going to be knitwise slip it and then immediately put it purlwise okay pull keep that that one on now this one this one is going to be knitwise did i say knitwise i think purlwise okay so purlwise and then this one is, go is going to be knitwise, but you keep it on the needle. And I slip the pearlwise one, okay? And now we will tighten it up a little bit. And we will repeat. Knitwise, slip, and pearlwise. Keep this one on. This needle has a very fat eye there. Oops, we need to have it under. Okay, now we're going pearlwise, slip, and knitwise. Don't stop. I stopped and I will show you later on what I did. I made mistakes somewhere because I stopped and and I and uh, after that I made a mistake. Okay, so again, knit, knitwise, slip, and purlwise. Okay, and per, uh, purlwise, purlwise, knitwise. I slipped the pearlwise and knitwise. Okay, again, knitwise, slip it, and then go in it pearlwise. Not on the needle, underneath the needle. Okay, good. Now we need to do purlwise and then knitwise. And then knitwise. Keep the knitwise on. I slipped the purlwise and front needle. Knitwise, slip it and purlwise. there and now we will 
will do untwiddle it a little bit back needle purl wise slip it and knit wise two more stitches knit wise slip it purl wise Untwiddle. Let, let it hang if you need to untwiddle. Don't stop, okay? And now we do purl wise, slip it, and knit wise. Okay? And we should do now knit wise here and purl wise here and that's it okay you see this is beautiful because I did not stop nothing was disturbing me it looks beautiful right it looks like uh, like we knitted all around here <laughs> But look at this one here. Somebody disturbed me and this didn't come out well because I forgot where I was and made a mistake. So I don't want you to stop until you're finished with your kitchener stitch so you don't make a mistake like me. So I have to take this apart and redo it. And I kept it just to show you so you see what's going on. Okay, what can happen if you if you don't keep uh, moving and also when you're doing it you go and say that little mantra knit twice slip purl wise on the front needle on the back needle purl wise slip and knit wise okay and repeat it back and forth and also don't forget to set yourself up in with those first two stitches okay which are a little bit different that's all. That's the Kitchener stitch. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you will watch all three parts, uh, how to knit these socks. And uh, I also hope that you will share my videos on social media. Uh, I really appreciate that. And uh, I hope to see you when I am working on another project. Thank you and see you later.